Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to see how we can control our workflow execution based on some methods and tools inside Alteryx. So first, we can control our workflow by using filters. This can redirect the data, but will still run both outputs. In this example, I just have a simple dummy data, where my detour column is set to true. So here, I'm getting what's true, and I'm writing a true output and also a false output. If I run this workflow, you can see that one record was written to the true output, but zero records were also written in the false output. So both of them worked at the same time, even though there's no data in the second one. If I click here, you see that my data is here and I don't have anything here, but it's still running. So be sure to know that if you are continuing this, they'll both be running at the same time. Another way is by using the block until done to. This will make sure that the first step here, let me just zoom a little bit. The first step will end, then the second one, and then the third one will go. If I run this, you see that I have my first output. Those are just message tools. So here I have my first, second, and third outputs. If I press on run, you see that they are all in a sequence here. They are respecting the run order. But, as always, be aware that if something goes wrong in one output, the other one will still work. So in this example, I just have a formula tool here that has an error. If I run this, you see that here I have four lines and those four lines were written in this tool here, in this output tool. If I want to make sure that if something goes wrong and the workflow is cancelled, I have to come here in runtime and enable the cancel running workflow. Now if I run again, you see that the records won't be outputted as the workflow is cancelled when it reaches this error here. Now another way is by using batch macros. This is the way I find the best to control your workflow and making sure that everything goes smoothly. Here I have just a simple data, I have a control column and also some data here. From this control column, I'm just getting the first one, the first line, and I'm passing it as a control parameter on this batch macro. If you don't know what a batch macro is, we also have a video here on the channel. Just make sure to watch it and to understand what's a control parameter and what's the data here. And inside this macro, I have containers. So this true or false control parameter is being passed here to control, to enable and disable those containers dynamically. So here I'm passing the control parameter. This tool here is updating the value with a formula. The value I want to update is this one. And the formula I'm using is that the destination will be equal to the parameter I'm receiving. So if it's true, this is true. If it's false, it is false. True, the workflow will be enabled. False, the container actually will be disabled. In the second one here, we have the exact same formula, but now we are negating it. So if I receive a false here, I will negate it and I will let it be true. So this will be disabled and this will be enabled. They are actually the inverse of one another. So this is equal, this is negative. Here I have messages, so true container achieved, false container achieved. If I come back here and run this, you see that I can't see those messages, so I have to make sure in runtime I'm enabling show all macro messages and I'm running again. And now you can see that I received the true container achieved because my control parameter is true. If I set this to false as I'm only getting the first line, now I'm getting in the false container sheet. Make sure that your control parameter is just a single line. Always put a sample or something that just brings you one line of the data because if I had more lines here, like for example, three lines, and I run this again, I'll have the results here, three lines in a row. 
so false true true because I have different lines here so just make sure we have one line and run it now if I needed to run this more times I could just put more batch macros inside here with the same logic and so far so on this is the best way to make sure you're only dealing with the data you want to do and not like for example the filter that will run both exits here now the last one I want to show you guys today is the detour tool so just zoom out here a little bit now I had to leave those two behind because if I put them on a container and disable it I'll try to throw an error so I'll leave those two here and simply what this does is we have the detour and the detour end now when we use this one we also need to use this one we have to start and end it and when we start this we can come here in Alteryx Designer and click on this button so if it's unclicked I could just run it and see that my left detour here was activated if I come here and click on the detour I run this and now I have my right exit so it comes this way and without activating it comes this way now this is best using apps because the user can come inside the interface and check if he wants the detour or not so here if I click on finish you can see that I'm using the left detour and if I click here and click on finish you can see that I have my right detour now those were just some examples there are many other ways you can control your workflow execution you could use crew macros like the parallel block until done or the conditional runner for running different workflows there's always a way to make sure your workflow is running the way you want you always need to do is study the best way you can use it so that's it for controlling your workflow execution in Alteryx Designer thank you for watching and have a great day if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment down below don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted thank you for watching